Okay, so uh, hello and welcome back to the third part of this Ajax tutorial. We're gonna we're gonna round this one this one tutorial up. Okay, I'm gonna make some other Ajax tutorials, but potentially um, in the last one, what we did is we sent back uh, first name, surname, and date of birth back to the server and saved the data, and then retrieved that data once again, and um, it returned then the. So let's just put James. Um, Thomas and date of birth, he can be born on the 26th of March 2013 and we'll just send this data back and then we get the data here, okay? So let's put um, Stephen Jeffrey, if that's even spelt correctly, and he can be born on the 30th. <coughs> send that one back and then look, put Tony Cook and he's born on the 3rd of March. Okay, so and then we put last one of, let's put Jackie uh, Farrow, whoever that is, and she can be born I don't know, November. Send it on back. Okay, so what we have done is we've managed to be able to send data back and save it into a database. Okay, and then without getting kicked out of PHP My Admin. Okay, and then place into the database. As you can see here this information which we just put in has been saved. Now that wouldn't be any good if you couldn't retrieve that data dynamically. Okay, So potentially what we want to be able to do now is we want to be able to select that one subscriber and update, edit um, and so on the information. So, um, But I don't want to code this in PHP at the beginning because I want it to be like a user interface, you know, I want it to be done with Ajax. Now it would be a lot better to do it on the original page load then you wouldn't have to do a, an additional call back. But so what we're going to do in this one is we are going to, um, so we're, when the page loads, like it is now, it's going to look like this. Um, but just after the page loads, we're going to send a request back to collect all of the subscribers and then we're going to populate this one drop down menu with all of the subscribers details. Then when we select one, it's going to display the information in here by doing a call back to the server to collect that information again. So basically the code which we've done already is going to come back and collect that information. Now down here is just like a log box so we can see what's being sent back. Okay, So you can ignore this but it's there for visual effects. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is do some JavaScript basically first of all. Now this one up here is potentially the click button. So what we'll do first of all is um, come down here and we'll make a function, okay, and we'll um, just to store them away, okay. So we'll just say this is save user, all right, and we can just put it in here and then let's just take this and take that out of there, chuck that in there, okay, that can stay exactly the same way that it is. Okay, so, oh no, what am I doing? I want that in there, sorry guys. I want to take that out of there, put that in there, yeah? And we'll just jolt this over a little bit. Okay, so that's save user. And then just come in here and say save user. All right, so it will work exactly the same, but now we're just cleaning this one a little bit up um, so we can make another action. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to say, um, we want to link it up to this one select box being changed. Okay, so it's got an ID of subscriber. So let's take this and we'll say down here, so subscriber is the selector and we'll say change. Okay, and for the time being we're just going to say console um, dot log it was changed okay because it's actually only got uh, one thing in there so we'd have to copy this just to make sure it works and we'll say subscriber one and put that back in there and put that as one then just save it come back to here refresh it okay so one change we should have an ajax no Subscriber, did I reload the page?
Hmm. Let's have a look at this. Why is that not working then? Okay, so let's just. This seems weird. So let's have a look on change. Events change. Yeah. Document already. Save user. That's correct. Okay, well then let's go for the dreaded alert box. I am alerted. Is that all okay? We've got no errors there. Save user. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Ah, oh, David, sometimes I'm a lunatic. Why is that not coming up with the log then? Okay. I'll just say log this. Why is the log not happening then? That's bugging me now. Oh, there we go. All right, must have been the, the page not refreshed properly. But okay, so that's fine. So this is the action which we're going to do um, when it changes. Right, that was a waste of two minutes of our life. Okay, so what we're going to do is copy this. All right, because I don't want to rewrite it. Put it down here. And we'll just call this get user list. Okay, go back to ajax.php and we can dump out that and we can just say um, task equals get user list. Okay, nothing more than that really. And <coughs> our re response text, we're just going to um, dump in the response text box first of all, just for debugging. So let's check that. Uh, everything works fine and dandy. Okay, so let's change it. And this is incredible. This is caching it. Oh, I've done it again. Oh, it's. I must be getting tired. Okay, no more mistakes now. Okay, there it is. Undefined index, first name, and so on. Okay, that's fine. That's just because of our our um, Ajax one here is looking for the post request. Okay, and that's not defined, so it's fine. Okay, so we need to modify this very very slightly. So first of all, we're going to say if set and post task, and then we're going to say if post task is equal to and what do we name it whoops didn't want to do that if post task is equal to get user list and let's put that in there then do this then we'll say else if we could use a switch statement here but um, I'm not going to and say just want to say get user for that one so we need to edit our JavaScript page as well we can take all of this as well like that and put that in there okay so we're just putting it within inside of the curly braces nothing more than that let's just bump that over so it all sits in nicely okay so now we've got this with inside of our else if and that's causing some problems there what's wrong with that so if Okay, there it is. Okay, so that's all fine there. Ah, it's if set. Don't need that. Okay, that's what I took out. Okay, I just never copied that. So, if his set goes in there, else at the moment, which is the else here, okay, it goes to the yellow, uh, we're not going to do anything. Okay, so echo uh, do nothing. I mean, he wouldn't want to do this, but that's fine. Okay, so now let's change our JavaScript. 
right so we can send back task on um, task on save user as well just come here put a comma in that and put um, get user all right so now let's just test it again okay make sure that we've got both actions so save user and get user list is fine so let's refresh this okay first of all um, well that's save user sorry that's a little bit stupid so it's save user let's change this again that's better okay that's better um, it's all saved let's refresh this now okay so now um, Fred Stevenson did we have Fred already and he could be the 19th so let's just come and press save okay so save data work fine okay now um, let's check this one okay post and we didn't get a response on that so far so on our response part we can say um, get user list is fine all right so we know that when we get something sent back with when we change this that we're getting the response that we need